The Red Lake Reservation no longer wants to be recognized as a community affected by drugs. Today, Natives Against Heroin are fighting back. Haiti Clotter has the story. A police escort and an entrance by the busloads is one way to make a statement. Hundreds gathered at Red Lake Hospital Fields to put their best foot forward in a walk to fight against drugs, specifically heroin. According to the Minnesota Department of Health, the number of heroin deaths in Red Lake between 2000 to 2015 is zero, but the problem is still present on the reservation. It is uh, deeply rooted in our community and it affects all generations. Thomas Barrett turned his life around after a five-year drug addiction. He's been sober for three and a half years and hopes to reach anyone affected by this drug epidemic, including drug dealers or people fighting an addiction. This walk signifies our unity as a reservation to stand up against drug abuse in our community. Natives Against Heroin stretches beyond the Red Lake Reservation, as many came from Leech Lake, Fond du Lac, and White Earth to show support. These men want to set a good example for young Native men. We say no to drugs when they say ask you for drugs, remember to say, just say Gawin, means just say no. The roughly mile walk was full of people from all ages with powerful messages and ended at the powwow grounds. Signs along the highway like who needs drugs when you have swag and be drug free are constant reminders for the reservation to know that drugs aren't the answer. For Wanda Blue of Lower Sioux in Morton, Minnesota, the battle of a heroin addiction is a personal one. She lost her daughter Valerie just 11 months ago. She's sharing Valerie's story to show others they have nothing to be ashamed of if they have a problem. It's up to every community member within your own homes first, with your own families, and then you start reaching out and you start helping other people, but don't turn them away. Barrett says this drug issue doesn't define Red Lake. We believe our culture will help us overcome this drug epidemic. And um, we've always been strong, resilient people, and we're going to fight this and we're going to beat this. In Red Lake, Haiti Clotter, Lakeland News. Red Lake has chemical health programs available as resources. Visit our website, lptv.org slash news for more information on those programs. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.